is Maria Sicil. <laughs> My name is Maria Siciliano. I'm the advisor to the Mamaroneck High School FBLA members. I am also a board of trustee for New York State FBLA, as well as the state officer advisor. I've been doing this for about 12 years. Could be more, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've forgotten after a certain amount of years, but um, I love doing this. We have a good time. I, um, the past two years have been upsetting that we haven't gone, but we're back and we're ready to go. So let's get this started. First thing I want to go over with, especially all the students, you all signed a code of conduct. Do you remember that? Hmm, what does that mean? Well, let's take a look because we're gonna go over some of the things now. All right, and this goes for every single one of you. Doesn't matter if you're middle school, doesn't matter if you're from another school, these are all the schools. Every single person at this conference has to follow these rules. If you do not follow these rules, there are consequences and I've seen it happen. So let's not let that happen, especially for all of you that, um, especially schools that are new for the first time. All right, so number one, you have to be in your room from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Now, there are three, we're all staying at the Hyatt at the Radisson. It's connected to the um, convention center. So we really never have to go outside if we don't want to, we're in the building. There are three elevators to this hotel. Can you imagine if we all start going up at 1150? Do you think we'll make it into our rooms by midnight? No. So my suggestion is to start making your way up to your room by 1130. You want to still talk to your friends, that's fine. Hang out on the floor. Do not be too loud. Uh, we should have the floor to ourselves. I don't think there'll be anybody else besides FBLA on our specific floor, but let's just double check that when we get there, okay? You're in your room before 12 o'clock. The chaperones will be coming to the rooms. You'll have to, we're checking all the rooms to make sure everyone is in their specific room. You're gonna be signing a paper saying that you now know we've checked your room. You're no longer coming out of there until 6 a.m. There's no reason to come out at 6 a.m., but you cannot come out of your room until 6 a.m. Parents that are on here, I'll let you know there is a guard on every floor. Once we've once they've gone into the room and once it's midnight, they are not allowed to open the door. So there's no Uber Eats, there's no pizza delivery. The guard is not gonna deliver anything to you, no matter how big of a tip you think you wanna give him or her, they, will not, they are not allowed, okay? Just so you know that. Um, you can't be anywhere. You can't even be in your advisor's room. You can't you need to be in your room. If there's an issue, you get in touch with your advisor. Let your advisor come to your room, but you may not walk out that door. Some schools I know do it. I don't know if anyone's planning on doing it, but the doors can and or might be taped if there will be any issues, if you think there'll be issues, advisors. Okay, number two doesn't really deal with us. Number three, you must attend all general sessions. Oh. Oh, Tim, can you go over this? I want to go get the brochure. I forgot it. I'll be right back. Yep. Okay, so starting on Wednesday in the late afternoon, there are uh, district meetings. We'll all be at the same meeting, District 3X. That is mandatory. Then at night is general session on Wednesday and Thursday. Those are both mandatory. Uh, you have to be there if you're anywhere else, right? You're violating the code of conduct. And then Friday morning, the award ceremony is also a mandatory general session. Um, so the next one is 
All right, a delegate will wear appropriate business attire at workshops, leadership sessions, district meetings, competitive events, and meals. All right, so anytime you have left the hotel and crossed over to the convention center, you have to be in your business attire. Uh, in, when you're in the hotel and you're not at any of your events, you can change back into street clothes, but anytime you're over at the conference at all for any anything at all in the convention center, you have to be in your business attire according to the dress code that I think was attached to this when you first signed it. And we'll, we'll go over that too. Thank you. So what's gonna happen is when we get there, that's out of focus. You're gonna get a brochure like this. It has all the times of all the events and all the locations. How do I get this to focus? Closer, further? I think it's because of your setting with the- Okay, so every single person will be getting one of these brochures. You'll get one for every student. So you're gonna look through it. It'll have the times. When you look at Wednesday's schedule, for example, it'll say there's a mandatory advisors meeting, just so the advisors know. Usually that's at four o'clock. Then there's a voting, a, a mandatory voting delegates meeting. Anything that says mandatory, you must attend. All general sessions are mandatory. You must attend. Okay. Um, Number five, you must keep us advised of where you are at all times. So if, when we go over what's not included, there's two meals that are not included for the lunches. If you're gonna go outside down the block to go get a pizza, you're not going alone. Never ever go alone. You're going with a buddy and you're gonna let whoever your advisor is, because for us, the high school, we have 38 kids. We have four advisors. We're gonna split you up so you, that you are in contact with one specific advisor. You let them know I'm saying, I'm running out for pizza with Jane. Okay, that's fine. All right. Violations of the next ones from seven through 15, I'll tell you right now, your parents are gonna be called, your principal, the principal of your school is gonna be called and they might, be told to come up and get you. I don't think you want that happening. So no smoking, vaping, or any use of tobacco. Um, you cannot drive yourself there. None of you are. We're taking the bus together. No defacing, changing, removing public or private property. That's kind of obvious. Um, number 10, males and females may not be in the same room. I have seen this happen at, after curfew. It happens and they think they're not gonna get caught, but they get caught. And your parents, I don't think would like to get a phone call at one o'clock in the morning saying, you have to be picked up by eight o'clock that morning. I don't think your parents wanna drive up there to get you just because you decided to be in an opposite sex room. If your advisor is there, that's fine but you cannot be in an opposite sex room, okay? Um, of course, no sexual activities. Uh, 12, any delegate who knowingly remains in a room. So even if you just happen to be in the room and something's happening, it's gonna be your fault too. So you're gonna be, you're in violation also. No selling or use of illegal drugs no gambling, and no activity that's gonna risk the health and safety or welfare of others. You all sign this, every single one of you. Your parent has signed it, your advisor has signed it, and your um, administrator at school has signed it. This is taken very seriously at the state level as well as the national level, okay? Great, now let's have some fun. This is our schedule. So for Mamaroneck High School, you're gonna drop off, you're gonna come to school with your suitcases and you're gonna drop them off in the FBLA room. I think Mr. Love is gonna be there to let you in. I'm gonna leave you the key, Mr. Love. 
Um, make sure you have everything you need, put it in, in that room, and at the end of the day, you'll pick it up from there. The bus is leaving school, is leaving the Maronick High School by 3.30, hopefully. Um, East Chester High School, you're getting picked up first. It should be there about 2.45, 3 o'clock. And then your bus is making their way to Mamaronek High School. Comics, the same for you. The bus is picking you up first at 2.45, 3, and getting over to the high school right after that. The hope is to be on the road no later than 4 p.m. because uh, the reservation at Dave & Buster's is at eight. So four hours, it is a Tuesday. We, you are crossing the Mario Cromo Bridge. So hopefully you make it up there in four hours. We've usually made it up in four hours. The price for that is gonna be $30 per student. So advisors, I'm not sure how you wanna collect it. Usually we collected it as they're walking off the bus. You stand in front of the bus and have your student give you the money. If the other schools want to collect it differently, that's fine. If you want to start collecting it as the bus is, you know, arriving, whatever you want to do. Okay. For the advisors and the chaperones, I've set a table on the side for you, um, for you guys to pay out of pocket to order whatever you want and just pay as is. Okay, you'll have two hours there. Yes, Joe. Thanks for raising your hand. That was cool. Does the $30 just cover food and then like- Yep, you're going to you get wanna... food and you're going to get a game card. Oh, so if we want to like, does that also cover the arcade then or do we should we bring more for the arcade? It's up to you. I think it's a $20 card. I don't remember right now. Okay, sounds good. Just remember, you're only there for two hours. Oh, I've had another question. Yes. Uh, are, is there like Wi-Fi on the buses? There is. Yeah, they say there is, you know, but okay. if you're going through a dead spot, I, you know, we've had that happen right. before. Um, there's also a, um, like a TV. So if anybody wants to bring any DVDs, if you still have them. Do you guys still even use them? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Thanks, Joe. Um, okay. So once that's done, so you get there at 8, 9, 10, 10 30, you'll be back on the bus. You'll get to the hotel around 11 30. You'll get your room keys and um, off you go to your room. No dilly dallying, go straight to your room. It's curfew by the time we get there and um, we'll start bed checks. Bring snacks with you, bring drinks with you if you want. Um, I've had kids, you know, bring a whole suitcase full of like popcorn and Doritos and drinks just so that they already had it in their room instead of going out to buy it. Before they used to not be a little deli nearby or a little snack place, but Mr. J and I were up there in January and literally directly across the street, there's a little, um, I want to say a dollar store or a deli, but bring them with you. This way you don't have to worry about going out. Okay. Wednesday morning, here you go. You slept. You think you're going to sleep in. Not going to happen, guys. This is not a vacation. We are here to do work. So. I have wake up call, but we're not gonna wake you up. You have to set your alarm. Set your alarm for 7.30 or however long it takes you to get ready. Eight o'clock, we're gonna go over across the street. There's a little cafeteria, it's in a office building and we're gonna have breakfast there. We're gonna go off in groups with our chaperones because if I think all, by the way, just so you know, there are 85 students plus, 10 chaperones, right? Four, five, six, seven, plus 10 chaperones on the two buses. So if we were all hundred of us going, you know, in there, I think they would freak out. So we're going to take turns, maybe go every 10 or 15 minutes. We'll walk over, we'll have breakfast, 
And then we'll come back to the convention center and we'll do a tour. We don't have to be in business attire because technically it doesn't start until 12 o'clock. Okay, so we'll do a little tour so you know where you're going and where you're going to need to be. And your advisors have all gotten your times, what competitions and what times. So they'll give that to you and you'll see where you have to be at what time. Saying that, please make sure you arrive 15 minutes early. You're waiting for them. The judges are not waiting for you. Make sure you are there 15 minutes early. You never know what's gonna happen. So make the elevators again. Make sure you're leaving plenty of time to get to wherever you have to be, all right? So here's the one day you're buying breakfast on your own and you're buying lunch on your own. Nearby, there's a Chinese place. We said there's a deli across the street. There's a pizza place. Um, there's a dinosaur barbecue. If there's a bunch of you that want to go, talk to your advisor that you're you know, with, and maybe they want to go with you. All right. So those are the only things that you're paying on your own. And then the next day, lunch. Starting 12 o'clock, you're in business attire and you're ready to go. If you have a competition, you'll get those times, like I said, probably for me, you'll get them next week. From 12 to 6 p.m., you have competitions going on, there are workshops going on, and you have classwork. Every single one of you has classwork to keep up with. Just because you're on this trip does not excuse you from classwork. I don't know about the other schools, but definitely at MHS, you have classwork to keep up with. At 5 p.m., every single one of us has to be at a mandatory meeting for District 3S. And I'm not sure what room it's in. Um, I have an old brochure, but we'll get that in the brochure. 5 p.m. So does that mean that we show up at 5? No, that meeting's starting at 5. We're showing up at 4.45. Also to make sure you want to get a seat. I don't know if they're going to have enough seats. So you don't want to be standing. What's going to happen at this meeting? Um, well, we're going to give the awards from the SDM. I'm bringing them with us since we didn't get to have one in person. We're going to hand out the awards. So if you won anything at SDM, you'll get your award then. Also, we're going to have um, anyone who is running for our district vice president. And that was Katarina this year. But if any, we have candidates, they will be saying their speeches and there'll be a question and an answer. So you wanna be there to hear that because that's where you're picking who you think is the best candidate and the most qualified. And that'll dictate what school we go to next year to hold our fall district meeting and our spring district meeting. Okay, so immediate and always business attire, remember that. Oh, and one more thing, masks. Unfortunately, or fortunately, don't know, we, this conference, you have to wear a mask. Masks are required in the convention center. Masks are required in the hotel. The only time you're not wearing a mask is when you're eating or drinking. If you're doing a presentation, you're allowed to take off your mask. You walk in with the mask on. Some judges might not want to shake hands. So you can say something like, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time. And then you could just take off your mask and start. Introduce yourself and start your presentation. Okay? Mask. And then as you're leaving, you're putting the mask back on. All right. So after our mandatory district meeting at five o'clock, we're going straight to dinner. Dinner is in business attire. Immediately, well, not immediately following dinner. Dinner should be over at about 7.30. At eight o'clock, we're going up to the general meeting. We're going down. After dinner's upstairs, the meeting's downstairs. Okay, so from upstairs during the general meeting, 
no, nope, during dinner, we'll go downstairs for the general meeting. I think they're gonna be assigned seats. I'm not sure what they've decided to do this year. So again, don't wanna wait till the last minute. You wanna go find your seats. You wanna be sitting down and ready to go. What's happening at the general meeting? There's gonna be a keynote speaker. Now we have the main line officers. So who's running for president? Who's running for executive vice president, secretary, reporter, historian, um, treasurer. They're gonna give their speeches at this time, okay? Um, and then after that, you can go get changed at that point if you want to. There's gonna be FBLA's Got Talent. We'll, I'll show you the dress code in a second. Anybody here, if you wanna perform, let me know at the end of this call and I can sign you up, okay? Anybody have a talent? Can you play? I don't know, can you play the kazoo? How about a ukulele? That would be cool. Let's let's get you signed up and let's uh, have some fun, all right? Everyone must attend this also. So on Wednesday, there's a bunch of meetings you have to attend. You have to attend the general meeting and you have to attend the, the fun interactive uh, FBLA's Got Talent. It should be over at about 11 o'clock giving you enough time to hang out with your friends for a few minutes and start making your way to the hotel and upstairs. Marion, yes. Um, I actually have two questions. So my first question is kind of like when you were talking about COVID and like masks and everything, okay. do we need to bring any like specific documents? Like for example, like proof of vaccination, no. or anything like that? Okay. Nope. And Just bring masks and bring extra. I will have extra, but make sure you um, you bring extra, to, you have them. Okay. And also in terms of like, like overnight, like a luggage is just like for space reasons. Is there like, we can only have one bag or just like anything like that, or there's not. You can bring as many as you want. Okay. Thank you. Let's not bring the trunk though, but yes. <laughs> okay. I had two other raised hands. So whoever wants to go, I didn't see who they were. Max, Max. Yes. What's your question? Do we have to COVID test? No. Or anything like that? No. Nope. And then we can take our masks off in our hotel rooms, correct? Correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Correct. But that doesn't mean now you hang out in your room only because of that. Have to be out. Have to see you around. Any other question? Okay. All right, so here we go. It's Wednesday night is done. Curfew, you'll be exhausted, but you'll be so hyped because you'll have seen the speeches, you'll have seen the acts, you'll be like, how do I get to be up on stage next year? Here comes Thursday morning, and this is going to be the bulk of most of the competitions, I'm going to say. Um, a lot of the performances you might have taken, if someone's doing banking and finance, you would have taken your collaborative test on Wednesday, and you'll find out probably Wednesday night if your group has made it to the final round, and if it has, then your presentation is going to be on Thursday, okay? Wake up calls at seven. Again, I'm not waking you up. Your alarms are waking you up. Breakfast is between seven and 8.15. So if you don't make it down for breakfast, you're not getting food, which is included, all right? Between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. or when all the competitions are taking place. You're attending workshops. You're doing your classwork. You're practicing. Practice, practice, yes. Um, again, lunch, that is on your own. Uh, you will text or maybe you'll see your advisor be like, we're going to go across the street and get a slice of pizza. Okay. Um, and then that evening, the general meeting is at eight. There are a couple of mandatory things on Thursday, um, but I don't have them on here. There are voting delegates. So if you're a voting delegate, you have to go to the question and answer. And just for those of you that saw those people up on stage and now say, hey, you know what? I might want to run for a position. 
then you should go to the question and answer. Go to the voting session. See what it's like, because maybe next year you might want to do it. Okay. Um, general meeting, again, eight o'clock. That's when we'll also find out who you voted for. Um, they'll be up on stage, which is fantastic. It's exciting. And that night at 9.30 is a neon dance. So we'll go through that dress code in a second. But um, again, it's mandatory. Everyone needs to be there. I guess, you know, wear your best neon. Curfew is at midnight. Bed check. You sign in. You need to pack up and have your bags ready to go because that morning you need to take your bags and put them in your advisor's room, all right? I'm gonna try to see if I can get actually the buses to come maybe a little bit earlier. And if they could, then we might just go and put all our bags in the bus this way, we don't have to worry about it. But our rooms have to be clear before we go down for breakfast. Okay. Um, breakfast again, seven to eight fifteen, and then the award ceremony, eight thirty to eleven thirty. Every single competition, and there are over sixty competitions, or is getting an award. So that's why it takes a little bit longer, but it's a fun time. We should hopefully board the bus at 1.30. It might be earlier, but I'm being conservative. 1.30, um, you will run out, get something to eat, bring it back on the bus because you're going to eat it on the bus. You might not eat it right then. You might eat it a little bit later. Um, I'm not sure if the bus stops. That's always up to the driver. Sometimes they want to stop. Sometimes they don't. So bring food, you know, go buy food and bring it with you. Usually we arrive, if we leave at 1.30, we should be arriving around 6.30 p.m. I tell the kids when we get to the Mario Cuomo Bridge to start texting their parents and telling them to come get them. Parents that are on the call, we really would appreciate you being there on time. We've, uh, we kind of want to get home too. So um, being there. And the buses will drop off at Mamaroneck High School and then East Chester the bus is gonna go on to you. So let's um, get them, let's get off the buses so that East, East Chester could then get home. All right, now let's just do the dress code really quick. What are you gonna wear? So gentlemen have it easiest, I'm gonna say, cause they can wear one pair of pants and two shirts and they'll be fine. Remember gentlemen, your belt and your shoes should match color. So if you're wearing a brown belt, you're wearing brown shoes. If you're wearing black shoes, you're wearing a black belt. All right, tie, ne definite necessary. So you need to have a tie, a shirt, slacks, belt, shoes, and socks. You don't need a jacket, even though the jacket does look nice, but you don't need one. Ladies. Here we go. You can wear a dress. I'll show you something. Like you have a dress, a suit, a pantsuit. Now, these heels are lovely, but you're going to be doing a lot of walking. And if you're running to that elevator, yeah, don't wear the heels if you're not used to wearing heels all day. I am honest. Put the flats on. Buy a pair of comfortable flats. Yes, the heels look nice but your feet are going to kill you after. Okay. Skirts and blouses. I've said this before. I'm sorry. I come, I'm old school. I went to an old girl Catholic high school. So that skirt had to be four inches below your fingertips. I don't want those short skirts. I, you know, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't look professional if you're walking down and you have to keep like shimmying it because it's, it's riding up. If you're not comfortable in it to be in it all day, then it, you shouldn't be wearing that. All right, a nice blouse. Um, 
You don't have to wear stockings. It used to be stockings, but you don't have to wear stockings anymore. Um, so I think you, you get that, right? Any questions with what you should wear? Okay. What you shouldn't wear. Now, jewelry invisible body piercing. So what does that mean? If you're wearing a nose ring, if you have a tongue ring, if you have um, lip or, I mean, if you have three or four earrings, that's fine. Eyebrow, if you have any of those, cover it, put a Band-Aid over it if you can't take it out for some reason. But just for these couple of days, it's one of the rules. Sorry, okay? No jeans, no shorts. This is while you're presenting at least, okay? Sandals cannot be worn for presenting. It shouldn't be open toe shoes, even though I think they're allowing that now, but even though it's a sandals, so no sneakers. This is while you, oh, just while you're presenting, while you're in the convention center in business attire. So I just want to go down to what casual attire is. So for the dance and for the show, when you run back to change. Okay, here, quick. It's jeans, it's shorts, nice t-shirts. Um, you can't wear your pajamas. We've had kids like going down in pajama bottoms and they've been sent back up. No, um, you know, no tight tops. Just think that you are at a professional meeting and that you should be respectful. You should always have shoes on, okay? Um, sneakers, sandals are okay at the dances. Any questions? Maria, did you say that the girls can wear slacks and a blazer? Though yes. they have to wear a skirt or dress, right? No, they don't have to. They can wear they can wear a pantsuit, or okay. even just a top and a and a and pants. Yes, that's fine. Thanks. All right. Any questions? I'm gonna stop sharing. If I can figure that out. Okay. Okay, so I see here middle school, your curfew is gonna be 11. So you're gonna to need to start heading up a little bit earlier. Mr. Eddick, you need to check with Ms. Halstead. All right. Yeah, I've been in contact with her. She um, said they were still working on it because they were finalizing your competitions first. Okay. Um, regarding this itinerary, I'm gonna send it out to all the advisors and I will put it up on Google Classroom. Yes, it'll be there. Okay, um, questions Maria, about- I have a quick question again. Um, you've done this for so many years. How much money would you suggest that the kids be bringing with them? I mean, they just have to buy breakfast and lunch on the one day and then lunch on the other day, you know? Okay. So I am, you know, $30 conservatively? Well, they need $30 for Dave and Buster's, right? Well, that's the right. I'm saying $30 per day. Oh, a day. Okay. Yeah, a day. I mean, depends on how much you eat, I guess. And if you're going to run across the street and get some snacks, that's what I'm saying. Bring the snacks with you. Okay. So um, we have a question, Mr. J, maybe you can answer about the workshops. What topics do they cover? You don't. So you don't sign up for them individually. There's a time, there's a room, you just go to the room. It'll be in that brochure that I showed you. But Mr. J will give you an idea of the topics. All right. Uh, what do they have? They have uh, college prep, uh, public speaking, how to become a state officer, team building, uh, resume and interviewing. Uh, they have like a shark tank type game, improv, uh, networking. Okay. 
So these are all the state officers that have made these workshops. So we all met for the weekend in a weekend in January, and they came up with topics that they think would be of interest to you. And I think there's three or four each day. So um, look through, decide which ones you want to go to. I know that they're doing, so there's a goose chase. I don't know if you guys know what a goose chase is um, during the um, conference. And I know, I heard something about there's some kind of raffle or whatever, if you go to all the workshops or something, they'll explain it. So look out for that, okay? Showing, show, showing, shoulders. Ooh, can't say that. Um, don't do it. So unless, are you talking about like wearing one of those, um, like a sleeveless dress? If that's what you're planning on doing, if that's what you mean, I would wear a shirt on top of it, or a jacket. You really should have something with a little cap sleeve, if anything. I hope that helped, Florence. Raised hand, Miss. Who has their hand raised? Anybody? I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I noticed at one point you had on there that the students might be touring RIT and I didn't hear anything just now. So what's happening? Yeah, unfortunately, they would not do any group tours at this time. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah, we usually um, get a nice group going there, but couldn't do it. Thank you, Mr. Love, for trying to get that for us. Yeah, we tried. They're only doing accepted students. So it's unfortunate. It's a great place, but. Any other questions? Maria. Yes. Um, do you have a relative pack list? How many outfits um, should be brought? I'm, I mean, I would say, I mean, this is a tough one. You know, like I said, boys are easy. One pair of pants, two maybe, and three shirts, two shirts. Ladies, I would definitely have two outfits. One for Wednesday, one for Thursday. And if you're mixing and matching, maybe you can then just, you know, have a separate blouse with the skirt for Friday or, you know, three outfits definite, not definite, but it's up to you. I mean, you're not really running around that you're going to be sweaty and whatever. It just depends, I guess, while you're eating, are you going to spill something on you? Did that help? Yep. Um, are we allowed to wear like dressy sneakers? Like, you know, for competitions? Yes. No. Okay. When you're Thank saying you. dressy sneakers, you mean, give me an example. Like shoes. Like with, the shoe with the white sole? Yeah, like with a white sole. Yeah, exactly. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Miss us. Mm hmm. I was wondering when we would know like who we were rooming with because I like turned in the form, but I don't know if that's like who I'm actually with. You'll find out when you get your keys on Tuesday night. Okay. Like I told you guys, I did my best because of COVID to keep you all together. I usually don't. I usually like to mix you up so you get to meet different people. Because of COVID, I kept your friend group as much together as I could. Okay. That's all I will say. I'm you, you have at least one you have at least one friend in your room let's say that um excuse me is there anywhere where you like see these rules for ourselves or like this you be reading from you signed that form so it's on it's in google classroom james okay all right um miss s yeah is there a dress code for the neon party no i we just went over what the casual thing is so no, you can wear whatever you want. Just make sure it's not short shorts or, you know, a skimpy top. Okay. Okay. No pajama bottoms. Anybody else? Oh, all right. This was exciting. Uh, Janie, Janie and Lillian have questions. Okay, go ahead. Um, I was just wondering if there's any colors we should avoid or like anything like that. No. You mean like for presentations? 
Um, like just in general. No. Nope. nope. So if you see that really nice red dress, that's power to you, girl. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question. So should we like wear business attire to school on Tuesday? No. No, no. You're in a five hour bus ride and then you're going to Dave and Buster's. So you don't need any business attire on Tuesday. Wear something comfortable, relax. Okay. All right, can I ask one more question? Of course. That's okay. what we're here um, for. Yeah. Um, my question is about like, so you said like not, are we gonna have like a little, like maybe at tomorrow's meeting or something, are we gonna talk a little bit more about how to address judges and like mostly other teachers from other schools? Because like, are we supposed, like, I guess. So, not, okay, yeah. I so when you, know. when you walk into the room, normally what you would do in this, you would be like, hi, I'm a Siciliano from Americ High School. Nice to meet you. And there's usually two or three judges. So you would kind of like mix that up a little. Hi, nice to meet you, Maria Siciliano. Hi, nice to, you know, thank you. And then, um, you know, and shake their hand. <sighs> Unfortunately, we don't know what the judges want to do. So I would actually just say for right now, um, you know what? I, I don't even know what to say. Anybody have any ideas? Could we like ask if we can shake their hands? Be like, is it okay if I shake your hand? Or like, is Ms. that? Were you doing elbow, Mr. Love? Is that what you're, or are you just scratching your elbow? <laughs> um, yeah, I would be, I, I, yes, you could ask. Say, hi, I'm Maria Siciliano from Amaranek High School. Nice to meet you. And you can see, like maybe start putting your hand out and seeing if they're gonna, you know, would it be okay to shake hands? When you're finished with your presentation, Make sure you thank them for their time. These people that are judging are volunteers. They're professional people from the Rochester area that are taking time from their schedule. They're not working, they're there to, um, to help us out, to help you learn because they'll give you back. They're gonna give us all back, excuse me, notes for those that are presenting, which would hopefully help you. You know, it might be, more eye contact, it might be slow down, it might, whatever it may be. So please don't forget to thank them. Miss I? Yeah. I just like, I'm having trouble like realistically understanding like what the downtime is. Cause like if we have schoolwork, are we allowed to go back to the room and like yeah. do that? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So you're going to have <clears throat> your, you have two events that are um, presentations, correct, Joe? Or is it three that are presentations? I have um, one presentation and two tests. Okay. So I don't have the schedule in front of me, but your tests are not. So let's say your tests, you have one at nine o'clock and you have another one at three. There's a workshop in between that you want to go to but you also have classwork so in between that you can go do the classwork of course maybe bring your you. bring your laptop down to the convention center this way you can you know find a corner maybe instead of running back up to your room you do have some downtime but what we don't want is you just hanging out just to hang out and do nothing okay um, How many people are attending the whole competition? So um, we're over, I, I think I heard we're either 500 or 600 students. No, I think it was 500, 600 in total. We usually have about a thousand, but of course with everything going on, not all schools have been permitted to go. If you place first, second, third or fourth, and, Middle school, this is not for you right now. But if high schoolers, if you place first, second, third, or fourth, you get to compete at the national level. The national um, event is in Chicago this year. It is from June 28th. It starts June 29th, but we would have to leave June 28th and we come back July 3rd. 
if you place first to fourth, I will be handing you a permission slip on that bus. Because unfortunately, I need to know. So we come back on Friday. I need to know by that Wednesday if you're planning on going. Because we have to register you by that Friday. Our competitions right now, our states are not usually this late. We usually have them at the beginning of April. So we have some time. But unfortunately, we don't have time this year because this is a rescheduled from last year or actually from two years ago. This was the only week they could give us. Okay. Yes. Yes, Florence, even intro, you got to go. So unless you have camp and you automatically know that you're not going to be able to go because you have camp or you have work or whatever, then you know that. But if you've placed first to fourth, be prepared to get the permission slip. Be prepared to talk to your parents about it. Um, and there'll be a non-refundable deposit that's going to be due, at least for MHS, that's going to be due that Wednesday we come back. That's how quick this one's going to be. Oh, I know. I'm not even finished planning this one, and I already have to start planning the other one. But And Nationals is... is my first nationals was in San Antonio, Texas. I'm going to tell you right now, I went as a chaperone, not as the advisor. There were over 10,000 students in business attire at a convention center, and it just blew me away. And I said, I had to work with this organization. It, it's just an amazing, an amazing time. And just so you know, we do a lot of touring when we're, when we're wherever we're going this year chicago next year is atlanta and then i think it's orlando and then it's la anaheim so we get two disney trips in there for those of you that are freshmen <laughs> or middle level you have that to look forward to no suitcase or bag size restrictions no it's on the bus as long as you can carry it, no one's going to carry it for you or lift it for you. As long as you can carry it, you can bring it. Any other? All right. Wow, that didn't even take an hour. Great. Advisors, chaperones, if you need anything. Um, just, you know, text me. You all have my number. Shoot me a quick email. Oh, there is a new message. Carrie, are you, um, are you a chaperone? That says, Hi, no, the question is for my daughter, Cece. She's at Homix. Oh, okay. Yeah, she wants to know where she should be doing her schoolwork. So she could do it in her room, or if she wants to bring her stuff down to the convention center, there's always um, spots that they can sit around and, and do work there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thanks for coming, everyone. Thank you. I Maria. will email out the um, the video. Hopefully, it will go through. I don't know if that how that works. Um, and anything else? If you need anything, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you, students, for showing up. And if you have any questions, just ask your advisors, or you can email me.